All right, this is part two, guys. I have 51 and a half minutes left on my phone about. Today is your lucky day, I'll make a full video. And you guys are happy I showed my face. And tomorrow I'm gonna continue with the black screen. You gotta observe. Yeah. I work tomorrow and I work Tuesday and Wednesday I'm off. I only have enough money for smokes tomorrow. But I'll find a way to make money for myself by working on the lawn. Work on the lawn all day for $11, $15. I can get what? I can try to do a deal where she gives me 20 for, 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 for. She can give me $11 tomorrow, Monday, and $11 Tuesday. And I'll have enough to get a 20 pack. No, if she gives me $11 tomorrow, if I work on a lot, I'll have enough to get like a 20 pack and, and, uh, and like beer. And Tuesday, I'll have enough to get a 20 pack of smokes. Wednesday, because I don't want to touch my savings. I have a thousand in my savings. I don't want to touch it. I don't want, I have my cans. I have, I don't know, like $6 worth of cans. <laughs> Five dollars worth of cans, yeah. I don't want to touch mine, because I will stupid I bought beer again. I bought my, I bought my beer. Oh, I'm addicted to beer. Honestly. I'm sorry. Yeah, so Ivan, you can't play the bad boy with his redhead. She's a she's a hot chick. All the hot chicks around the world are bad girls. They're not they're not easy to get. The attractive chicks, the truth is, man, the attractive chicks around the world are not easy to get, man. You have to you have to play a little bit to get them. If you're an attractive guy, you can get them pretty easy, obviously, but you gotta you gotta play a little bit. You gotta be a bad boy. All the attractive guys know that yeah, if you wanna get attractive Jake, you gotta play the bad boy. Yeah, you gotta play the bad boy. Can't play the nice guy with with with, 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 with attractive chicks. They're gonna crush you and you're gonna finish last and they're gonna hurt you, man. Like she hurt me. It finally hit me, I'm like, yeah, I'm being I'm playing too nice. I asked her on a date. I was very nervous. Yeah, Ivan square as fuck. He's nervous. She rejected my ass. And I made a video of how depressed I was, how I got rejected. And she crushed me again by saying, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're 31 years old. And you asked her, I'm only 18. Are you crazy? She kept belittling me. I'm like, okay, you want to belittle me like that. I'm going to go for another chick drawing her face. I guarantee she thinks I'm not going to. Yeah, Ivan, Ivan talks. Ivan's not going to lose the weight. Ivan's not going to get his dress on. Ivan's not going to go for another chick. Okay, take me all you want. You thought I wouldn't ask you on a date. I asked, I met up and I asked you on a date. You know what I'm saying? And everything I'm saying, it all comes to pass. You know, so I go on a travel. I start losing the weight. I start eating healthier food. I stay away. I'll have a few cheat days, obviously. Maybe once a week I have a cheat day. A cheat day, obviously. Fuck it, today I'm going to get McDonald's. Obviously. But I'm going to stay away from McDonald's. For my cheat days, I'll probably have like Subway or something like that. I get like maybe a, a, a teriyaki sub at Subway. But no chips and Diet Pepsi. Stay away from the chips. Stay away from the, from, 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 from the chips. And the, uh, and, the, and, the, and the fatty drinks. Some Sarah. Sarah. Do not let the redhead dupe you, Ivan. If you fight for her, she's gonna she's, she's, she's gonna crush you, man. If you play the nice guy, Ivan, the, the Emmanuel will hurt you. She's gonna hurt you badly. Whereby you finish last. When I mean last, I mean even that pretty good looking guy is gonna finish before me. Because 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 he's playing he's not playing too nice of a guy he's he's probably a, a bad boy too, a bit of a bad boy too. She's out of his league obviously, but he's he's probably a bit of a bad boy too. That guy, you know, Ivan. If you play too nice with with the Emmanuel Walsh, she's gonna crush you, Ivan. She's gonna hurt you. She's gonna crush you. She's gonna hurt you badly. You can't play the nice guy with a chick like that. Some Sarah. The average looking woman you can play the nice guy with them because they don't pick up as much guys. But the, the, the attractive chicks, you can't play nice with them. You have to be the bad boy. 
That's why BJ said too fucking nice. So part of a guy she made on Tinder, obviously, but it's a similar to me. Yeah, you're too fucking nice, yes. And she also made a song called Last Man Standing. Which I guarantee it's a similar to me. I mean, you, if you play the nice guy, you're going to finish last, yes. You're going to finish, you're going to be the, the chick's last option. Some Sarah? I have these Emmanuel hot chick. Yeah, she is. She's hot, man. She's a hot chick. Almost as hot as me. She's not BJ, but sometimes I go back and forth in my head, obviously. Like, she goes back and forth with me and those men in Hollywood, obviously. She's not BJ, but she's an attractive chick. She's hot, man. She's a hot chick, obviously. Normal at the end of the day, but she's hot. Some Sarah. If you saw her, you would think she's hot. You guys already know what she looks like. I have the fucking keys. If you saw her, you would think she's an holy shit. She is an attractive chick. Yeah, she's an attractive chick. She's hot, man. French. She's a French chick. French and English. She speaks English too, obviously. She understands English, but she's French. She's a French chick, obviously. Quebecian, right? She's from Quebec, obviously. Whereas me, I'm an English Quebecian. Yeah, fuck the French. Yeah, don't hate me, guys. Fuck the French, guys. <laughs> I mean, is it annoying when everyone speaks French at work? Yes, it is, man. It's very annoying. It's very weird being in an area where people don't speak the language you speak. They, 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 most people at work understand English, but French is their first language. And they all speak French. It's like, what the hell? I'm like, fucking Frenchies. <laughs> yeah. You understand what they're saying? I'm in a little tiny bit. I only understand maybe, I don't know, 10% of French. Not 30, 20. No, I was, I, I'm over-exaggerating. I, I, lo I, I forgot a lot of my French. I only understand maybe 10% of French. And 90% of it I don't understand. There's two other chicks who work there who are English like me. Their en English is their first language too, like me, obviously. I don't understand French that well. I don't think they understand French that well either. They understand maybe a little bit of French. The two sisters who work there, obviously. And then the one waiter, he's bilingual. He speaks fluent English and fluent French. He doesn't have an accent at all when he speaks English. He speaks English like me, but he also speaks French. He's an older dude. He's, he's, he's English too. Ivan, mean, how much English people are they at, at, uh, at, where, at, at where you work? There's f four of us. When I mean English, I mean like, I mean like fluent English. There's four of us. Who are fluent in uh in uh in uh in uh no the one guy who's average looking who's the line guy i think he's he, he speaks fluent english too and fluent french he, he's english too because i always hear him speaking english more than french you know a person is more english and french if he speaks more english and french obviously well it depends on, on on the context obviously right yeah but all the other guys are all french but they all, they understand a good chunk of English, but French is, no, there's another guy, sorry. There's another guy, he has long hair. He's, he's bilingual too. He speaks fluent English, he speaks fluent French. He doesn't have an accent at all when he speaks English. When they don't have an accent, that's when you know they're bilingual. When they have an accent, that means they understand English pretty well, very well, but their English is not their first language. Like the redhead is, has, speaks good English, but she has a bit of the accent. The other ones speak English too, but they have a bit of the accent. There's like five of five, six of us who are English, pretty much, and then the other ones are all French, who understand and they understand a good chunk of English. Some of them don't speak really good English. The manager's English is not that great. The dishwasher I work with his English is not that great. He has bad English. Um, the manager, the boss at Coco Fruity, his English is not that great either. Don't hate me. You know I'm saying and what. Yeah. And there's one chick who works, she's a line, she's a line cook, obviously. She doesn't understand a word of English. She speaks French and her, like, her, like, I don't know, her Arabic language. She doesn't understand a word of English, the one chick. She's the one, she's the only chick there who doesn't understand a word of English. Like, I talked to her, she doesn't understand me at all. She speaks French and her language, she doesn't understand English at all. Yeah. I always hear them speaking French. I'm like, fucking Frenchies. I'm like, fuck the French. <laughs> is it annoying? I mean, yes, it is. Man. That's why I'm getting out of Quebec. It's fucking annoying. Everywhere you go, everyone speaks French. 
and uh, you feel a bit left out because you're English. And like, I, don't, I only understand a little bit of English. And, uh, everyone always speaks French. It's annoying, obviously. It's fucking annoying, yeah. So Ivan, you're really gonna persevere? Yes, man. I'm gonna lose this weight. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? Don't hate me, Emmanuel, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this face of rubbing your face. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get my dress, I'm get my teeth clean, I'm gonna start going to the to St. Hubert's, the Dentees. Elmer Bar is is not the greatest place to go because I went there on what? I went there what? I went there Friday, there were two bartenders working who were men. There was one woman there, but you can't really talk to them because they're just working all the time. Our bar is a good place to check out too, but I think there's only maybe like two or three bartenders who are women there. I don't know. And the one chick who I had a small little crush on a couple years ago, she has a boyfriend. My younger brother told me she has a boyfriend. She told him that she has a boyfriend. So I can't go for her. She's off limits. But she's hot, that chick. She's a hot chick, man. The bartender at Elmer Bar. She gained a little bit of weight, I noticed. I'm like, holy shit, she looks a bit bigger than, than before. She gained a tiny little bit of weight. She's hot, that chick. Just as hot as the redhead. Who's hotter? I mean, it's it's it, it, it's a back and forth debatable, right? You can argue that the chick at a uh, what? At uh, at Elmer Bar is hotter, but you can also argue the redhead's hotter, right? It just depends on your taste. Also. They're kind of tied. It'd be tough for me to choose between those two. They're really they're both hot, man. I'm saying. Yeah, I've been rubbing it in their face, like like Nick Cannon kind of did to, to... And because Nick Cannon became popular and he got his makeover and the chick started hitting on him, that attracted uh, 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 the, the hot chick, Rosina Milani, whatever her name is, right? She became more attracted to him, and he ends up getting her in the end. He makes out their hardcore and he grabs her ass. <laughs> the end of the movie. I saw that scene on YouTube. Will it drive Emmanuel a bit crazy? Um, if she likes me, it'll drive her a little bit crazy. If 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 I if I what, if I if I do all this, I don't know. I lose the weight. You know what I'm saying? I, I I get my dreads. I start picking up women like three, four, five dates, six dates. You'll get her attention. She'll she'll know about the dates because I have the keys. She'll have an idea, obviously. She'll know a little bit about. I'll have an idea because I have the keys. I'm saying. Get her attention, Ivan. I know what I'm doing. Like you two said, why are you wasting your time showing interest, I'm paraphrasing, in one chick when she's not taking the time to show interest in you? Move on, go for another chick. If she wants to play like that and she likes you, then you play with her. That's what he said, I'm paraphrasing. So there's, 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 there's two qualifications. If the chick doesn't like you, then why are you wasting your time showing interest in her when she's obviously not, doesn't feel the same way for you, just move on and go for the chick. Or if she likes you and she wants to play with you, play play, play a game with you, play with her too. If you get her number down, she texts you two days later, don't text her right away. Text her two days later too. You want to play, let's play. So I'm saying? Yeah. That's my point. He gave some great advice in his Theory Talks video. All you guys, I recommend, if you want to find that video, just say... Neil 2 theory talks go on his videos you'll see the highlights my crush hasn't texted me back click on that video Neil 2 gives some great advice on the relationships I'm like holy shit this guy I like, thank you Neil Neo Neo or Neo right that's some good advice yeah obviously he also said change your confidence uh, have confidence change your mindset go to the gym lose weight yes in one of his videos on this theory talks, that's what motivated me. Okay, Ivan, lose the weight. Have a confident mindset. If a chick rejects you, move, go on, move, her, move on to another chick. One of the, eventually, a few of them are going to say yes. Not all of them are going to say no to you, Ivan. Not all the chicks are going to say no to you. Some of them are going to say yes. And if you say no to me, it is your loss. I am going for another chick. And if I, if I had all of it, everyone's staring. That could have been you. Tough. It's your fucking loss. Yeah, there you go. Because today I was mopping the restaurant, obviously. 
And I saw the redhead with that pretty good looking guy. They were they were hanging out. I saw them walking. She was she was hanging out with him, obviously. Obviously. And then the dishwasher who's friends with, with her, obviously, and that pretty good looking guy. He was waiting for his parents to give him a ride home and they hung out with him a little bit. They sat down with him, they had a smoke. Or I think they were smoking weed. I don't know. Because weed's legalized in Canada. You can smoke weed in public now and everything. It's legalized in Canada, right? They, they, they're they all potheads, those guys. They smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? I saw her walking with him. They were, they were, I think they were hanging out. They could be friends. I don't know. Or they might be fling. I don't know. They might be fling. I don't know. If she's fling with them, that means okay. So that pretty good looking guy asked you for your number. You said yes to him. He's a pretty good looking guy. He's not ugly. He's a pretty good looking guy. I don't know, 6.3, 6.5 out of 10. She's out of his league, but he's a pretty good looking guy. I saw him on the street goals. He's a pretty good looking guy, obviously. You said yes to him, and he got your number down. And Ivan America, the son of God, who's handsome, who's healthy and fresh, you said no to him. Fucking weird chick. Weird fucking chick, man. Yeah, man. Weird fucking chick. Weird fucking chick. Yeah. I'm gonna spray my room here. Takes away the uh, tobacco smell, right? <laughs> yeah. Spray makes me, it irritates my throat. <coughs> yeah, it's the chemicals, right? Oh my God. It irritates my throat. It makes my eyes watery. Yeah. So you happy guys? I, I showed my face three times this year. And I'm going to, what? Give me a sec. Someone's calling me. <sighs> what? Already in back. Sorry. My younger said brother bought me uh, a drink at McDonald's. They have a deal at McDonald's for like a dollar. So he bought me Diet Coke uh, drink at McDonald's. Yeah. So I'm talking to you, Ivan Mara. You can't play the nice guy with a chick like uh, the redhead man. You can't do that. You gotta be the bad boy. All right, you think that pretty good-looking guy is a bad boy? Um, yeah, he probably is. He probably is a little bit of a bad boy. Obviously, because the 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 the, the, what? the, the attractive chicks like the bad boys. Sarah, you'll get her attention, Ivan. Guaranteed. I know. I know she thinks, oh, Ivan talks. He fucking talks. He thinks he's going to get my attention by, 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 by doing all this, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. 
I do this. You know what I'm saying? I end up losing the weight. I get the dreads. You know what I'm saying? I, I go on dates and I'll get her attention, guaranteed. But she now, oh, look at Ivan. No, Ivan's no longer this nice guy. He's a fat boy now. And when he's hanging out with those chicks, a lot of people are staring. That could have been me. And I said no. I took him for granted. Yes. Mm. Or she might not give a shit if she doesn't like me. So we'll see what happens. I'll see. Oh, see some there. Yeah. Next part I'll talk about is anus. So I'll talk for about this. Ivan Amara's uh, makeover. I'll call this video Ivan Amara's makeover and becoming a bad boy for part one and two. Part three, I'll talk last over Zanus. About Zanus. Peter Jackson, Mel Gibson. I'll talk about all that. I know you guys love these videos, the listening series, and me showing my face a couple times a year. You better you better enjoy these moments. Once I'm getting on peace on Legion for good, man, you're not I'm not gonna make any videos for myself on this channel. Just saying that. Sarah? Right, so I've seen your face, yes. I know you like seeing my face, but what? You better enjoy these moments while you still can. That's gross, huh? Got some spit on my chair. <laughs> I have holy spit. Holy spit, Luzan. Because in the Bible, Jesus takes spit and he uh, and he forms it with mud and he puts it on the blind guy's eyes and the, the blind guy is healed. Obviously. I, why did Jesus do that? I believe Jesus did that because it's, it's a symbolism of, uh, of, of... You know how in the Bible God created um, Adam and Eve from, from dust? So the very thing that God used to, 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 to animate... And create Adam, he used that same material to, to animate the guy's sight. So Jesus pretty much just did what, what he did in, in creation with by creating Adam and Eve, their their eyes, their body, their spirit, everything. He did the same thing for the guy's eyes. It's a symbolism of the that's, that's a symbolism, obviously. That's my theory of it, anyways. Sounds like yeah, Ivan, yeah, that's probably why he did that. Yeah, it's probably why he did that in, in, in the New Testament, obviously. There. Yeah. And after this, I'm going to upload it. I'm going to have my beer. I have my beer here. I have my smokes. I'm going to enjoy the video with you, the show with you guys, obviously. I'm going to eat some food upstairs. I made some, I made some good food yesterday. Pork, chapati, and potato salad. Amazing pork. Fried pork. With chapati. You guys know chapati, the Indian food, right? The Indian chapati. And I, I, I make a killer homemade uh, potato salad. And I make amazing potato salad. Yeah. Yeah, Ivan, you gotta stop your game, Ivan. <laughs> Then. Did she hurt you, Emmanuel? Yeah, she did. She hurt me, man. When I, when she rejected me, I felt like total shit. I was depressed for that day. I'm a little bit better now, but uh, I'm still a bit depressed about it. When I see her at work, you know what I'm saying? I see her at work. I see how hot she is. And I see her talking to all those guys. I'm like, man, like, some of those guys might have a number now. And she rejected me. It's a shitty feeling, man. The ass on track chicken on a date. She says no, man. It's a fucking shitty feeling. Okay, you're not interested in me, or if you're interested in me, you're playing a game with me. I'm going to move on. I'm going to have a check through rubbing your face. I'm going to lose this weight. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get my dress. I'm going to get my teeth clean. I'm going to rub on your face because you piss me off. She pisses me off, that chick, man. Yeah, man. Just like VJ pisses me off. 
she takes me for granted, obviously. That's why I'm doing this. Robin, the main reason why I'm doing this is to kind of rub it. No, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have a girlfriend before I pay the fee. I don't want to lose my virginity to my stepmother. I'd rather lose it to what? To my, my first girlfriend. You know, if we understand, yes. Same time, I want to teach VG a lesson because VG takes me for granted. She, she, as long as I don't, as long as I stay a virgin, Victoria Justice will never listen. She's going to continue to take me for granted. She's not going to, I'm not going to wake her up because she's crazy. Crying all night to me and she keeps cheating on me every week. She's crazy, man. She's never going to learn. You know, right, you're going to be a porn star. Yeah, but I was forced to pay the fee, VJ. Had they not forced me to pay the VJ, I never would have touched one chick. I would have been pure for you. Whereas you are you don't care. You cheat on me every week. That's why I'm going to have a girlfriend to rub in your face. You piss me off. Sarah. Yeah. This is Diet Coke, right? Yeah, Diet Coke is not that good. I think it's Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is pretty good. Diet Coke is gross. I think this is Diet Coke. It doesn't taste that good. I don't know. Diet Coke is gross, man. Oh my god. Do you like Pepsi better than Coke? No. I like Coke better than Pepsi, but I like Diet Pepsi better than Diet Coke. Coke is the real shit. Pepsi is like, is like a fake, fake, fake version of Coke. It doesn't taste as good. Just like 7-Up is like a fake version of Sprite. 7-Up tastes exactly like Sprite pretty much, but Sprite tastes a little bit better than 7-Up for me. Actually, no, 7-Up is really good. 7-Up and Sprite are both really good, but I mean... 7-Up... I like Seven Up more um, uh, when you compare it to to to, to, to Sprite than, than I do Pepsi when you compare it to Coke, right? Because I Seven Up is really good. I like Seven Up, obviously. Yeah. Does the, the, the redhead think you? Does the redhead think uh, you? You're talking, Ivan. Yeah, she thinks I'm talking, obviously. But watch. Next Thursday, this Thursday, I'm going to call the salon. I'm going to make an appointment. This week, maybe not Thursday, but this week, I'm going to make the appointment. I'm going to have to ask my boss when I'm off the following week. And the day I'm off, that's the day I'm getting my dreads done. I'm going to get my dreads done. Cost me like 140 bucks, 120 bucks to get it done. Obviously. And I'm going to start going on the tremble this week. Either tonight or tomorrow, Monday, I'll start going on the treadmill for one hour every day and eat, start eating healthier food like fish and salad and that kind of stuff. And yeah, I don't know. I come to work the following week. Everyone notices that I got my dreads done. They're, they're, they start off as like small little spikes. Little tiny spikes like that, right? Now, Ivan, you got your hair done? Yeah, I, I'm getting dreads. Oh, you're getting dreads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your dreads are small. Yeah, I have to get it retouched for, for it to grow, obviously. I can get the extensions, but I'm not a fan of extensions. I don't want fake hair. I want to grow my natural hair like I did when I made that very unique video. My hair was all natural. Remember when I made that Carrie Underwood video with my dreads were long? Yeah, that was my real dreads. When I made that video about me failing, failing my, um, my class, yeah, that was my real dreads, man. See how long they were? Yeah, I grew that for like a year and a half, two years. Two plus years. Some Sarah. Go to St. Hubert's Ivan. Go to Dinty's. Go to Boston Pizza. Go to Elmer Bar. Flirt with the chicks, man. Ask them on a date and then man up. If they reject you, it's their loss. A few of them are going to say yes. The Robin in that redhead's face, she pisses you. She pisses you off. Yeah, she pisses me off, man. And you'll get her attention. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Just like Nick Cannon got that chick's attention and, and love don't cost a thing. I know what I'm doing, yeah. There. So I mean, she's taking you for granted. Yeah, she is. She's, if she likes me, she's obviously taking me for granted. She thinks I won't talk to any chick. I even won't talk to any chick. It'll just focus on me. I'm like, no, I'm not asking for a number ever again. Unless you really show that you like me, obviously. I'm going to move on and go have a chick because you pissed me off. You rejected me. Obviously, I'm not interested in playing your game. And I'm not going to be a nice guy and finish last and have you crush me, uh, 
crush me some more. No fucking way. If she rejects me a second time, I'll be crushed. I might even cry, man. Oh my god, like, what the fuck when I'm fucking, why, why is this chick, why is this hot chick rejecting me? Why is she saying yes to all these normal attractive men? She's saying no to me. I haven't, it's complicated. I'm like, what do you mean complicated? I haven't, she sees hell. You know what I'm saying? She knows when you have sex with her, she's gonna, you're gonna run away. It's complicated, I I'm like, fuck complicated. Why is she fucking saying no to me? Yeah. Yeah. Why is she saying no to me? So I'm saying? Why is she saying no to me? Why? Yeah. I'm going to on this part here, guys. The next part I'll talk about saying this. So these two parts are about um, Ivan, Ivan's makeover, don't hate me, I'm saying, don't hate me, Emmanuel, I'm saying, Ivan's makeover and Ivan becoming a bad boy, Ivan, you know, Ivan talks, he's not, he's not gonna do shit, okay, you thought I wouldn't ask for your number, I asked for your number, didn't I, two weeks ago I asked for your number, you said no, I, I, I did it, I manned up, even though I was nervous, I manned up, I asked for your number, what made you think I'm not gonna go for a chick, I already went to the armor bar twice, I'm going to talk to chicks and ask them on dates. Yeah, man. I might even ask maybe one or two Coco Fruity chicks on dates. Maybe the brunette one. Maybe the black-haired one. I might ask those two on a date. Obviously. Is that her? Yeah. But I think the black-haired one is what? I think she's a minor. I think she's not. I think she's like 17. She told me she just finished high school. So, yeah, she might be a minor. If she's a minor, I can't date her, man. It's illegal to date her. A lot of people do it behind closed doors, but if you get caught with, like, a policeman, you can go to prison for that, man. You can get fined, you can go to prison because you're dating her. It's illegal for an adult to, to date a minor. I'm not going to pull a Muhammad and fucking date a minor. So I'm saying, don't hate me, Muslims. I'm not going to pull a Muhammad and date a fucking minor. So I'm saying, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. So talking to you, Ivan Mayer, you got to change the game, man. You got to lose the weight. Get down. Get down to 190, 195, 190. Lose the weight. Get skinny. Get your dreads. Get your teeth cleaned. Get your body wash. Get your shampoo. Start going out to St. Hubert's, Boston Pizza, Dinty's, and start picking up women, man. Go on dates with them, and you'll get the right attention. You'll get your attention. I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. And that is it for this topic, guys. I'm going to move on to part three. I'm going to talk about Zanus. Shut my cat here.